Okay, let's change the nozzle here. We're going to take our Rainbird tool, put it down into the slot here, and I've taken it off the fitting so we can see just a little bit more clearly what's going on. So we're going to put this down in here, turn it 90 degrees, and pull it up just enough to grab it. I'm going to put it down in the nub here, the little raised part, and we're going to withdraw our screw so it's not holding the nozzle in any longer. Okay, and then you can put your screwdriver down in here and pop this out. Now, also, we want to take out our little tab up here that shows the gallons per minute, the nozzle size. We're going to put us a new one in there. All right. And so we have our nozzle tree here, which has a variety of options for us to choose from, and they are the gallon per minute sizes, and you see them here on the tab. So what we had in there is a two gallon per minute. So let's put a three gallon per minute on there. We're going to pull the nozzle off and the little tab. Go ahead and put our tab in there so we'll know exactly what's going on. Turn it 90 degrees, pull it up enough to grab it. And there are tools that you can get that'll hold this shaft up if you don't have enough hand strength to hold it up there. It does have a little bit of strength to that spring, but if you can't hold it up, get you one of those little tools to hold it there. And so we're just going to run our screw back in enough to hold the nozzle in. I always like to turn it to the left limit. And then we're going to turn it back on and then make our adjustments from there. 